Well, let's face it, part of what makes the Detroit Grand Prix so exciting is, you know, wondering how badly things would go if we were behind the wheel of one of those race cars. Well, fortunately, there are go-karts to help us get that out of our system. <laughs> Paula Tupman is in Sterling Heights at a special event leading up to the Grand Prix. And Paula, you've been teasing it all day since 4 o'clock. You're ready to show off your driving <laughs> skills. Love it. You know what? Now, I, I consider myself a race car driver because I drive on I-696 every single day. But this is different. So we're at Cart to Cart Go-Kart Racing in Sterling Heights. And believe it or not, this is where a lot of racers get their start, actually go-karting. So when we talk about the Grand Prix, which starts next weekend, this is a great place to start. Great media event tonight, nice charity event. Now, this is Robbie Foley over here. This is his second time in the Grand Prix. And we're going to actually race these go-karts. Okay, you got any tips for me? I uh, go fast and take chances. Okay, you know what? I didn't hear any of that. But you know what, grandson? <laughs> Bring it. Let's go. One, two, three, go. So this is what they taught me. They taught me that you got to cut these curves. Oh. oh, I know Robbie is not letting me beat him. Okay, now this one is really tough. Now, I actually practiced a little bit earlier today, and I spun out once. And I'm not going to do place the car like I kind of tricked you into doing that back there. You tricked me? A little bit yeah like basically you took basically I took more radius than you in the corner I made the corner wider so I could kind of undercut you and then get a better exit off so there's a lot of strategy that goes into all of it and where you place the car is important it's not just you know all about stepping on the gas. You think it's so much do me a favor hey Zach I need you to come off sticks because we want to see Robbie's face uh, so and listen in in racing but like you were saying, there's so much that you need to be thinking about. Right. And it really is strategy. It's that you, you have to be a master multitasker. Let's talk about the Grand Prix. Yep. You raced last year. Yep. Yeah. What do you like about the course? Uh, it's awesome. I love street courses. So obviously we get to race on Belle Isle, which is a, a cool area on the water. Um, it's very tight and narrow. So there's no room for error at all. If you make a mistake, you're pretty much in a concrete wall. Um, yeah. So, you know, I love the atmosphere. There's a lot of fans that come out, and I, I like the intense nature of the track just being so tight. And, and now, I'm having trouble hearing you, but I'm not sure if you talk about And, Zach, I just kind of wanted you to come around here a little bit if you're able to. Uh, like, listen, I tricked you, so I, you're there, <laughs> and the camera should really be on your face, but it's on my face. <laughs> so I'm talking to my partner about that. Because people want to see you because you're you're 22 years old, yep. and you're not new, new to racing, but you kind of do. So we want, the, we want the audience to get a chance to know you. But I was also hearing that the Grand Prix track is really bumpy and yeah. it, it makes it really challenging you have to be really skilled right. in what you're doing yeah yeah typically especially our cars are designed for a, a more typical smooth road course so you basically have to contend with the bumps and, and things like that so it, it makes it more challenging um, from a driving perspective from a team perspective um, but yeah i love it it's, it's one of the most unique races we do yeah yeah i wonder what your mom says about that so tonight doug guthrie charity event he's a great man a great fan of karting, and I know the media's going to be here. Uh, listen, thank you so much. Yeah, nice trick. But I can't get run for your money. I'm yeah, no, okay. good. Whew. I'm exhausted, guys. Time for a nap, and then rush hour tomorrow. Okay. Back to you. Awesome job, Paula. We'll talk to you a little bit later. Great job. <laughs>